In this video, we get these sparking drift tyres and we fit them onto this radio controlled hot rod. Oh, it's Christmas every day! Guys, we got a new toy! And it is a radio controlled hot rod by Traxxas! And in this video, we're going to unbox it, have a look at it, and then take it out for a rip and see what it's all about. So this car is supposed to do 30 mile an hour and we can check it with this GPS. But we want to go faster, so in this video we're going to try and make it go 60. Maybe, we'll see. Also, check it out, we have these sparking drifting tyres. So we're going to give these a blast too. If you look in here, look, they've got little flints and that should make them spark. So next, let's have a look to see what's inside. So it's four wheel drive, with double wishbone suspension front and rear, oil filled coilover shocks, some stuff along here, more stuff underneath. I have no idea about all the techno babble. So if you want to know, I'm going to put a link down below where you can get all the specifications and where you can get the car from. But what we do know is that it needs a two cell LiPo. And later on, we're going to give it four cell. That's going to double the power. And hopefully double the power means double the speed. Speed. Now this is not the official battery, it's a Banggood Special, it's old, it's probably down on power, so it's probably not going to give it the best results. But we're going for us later, don't worry. Steering a little bit on the slow side. And power? Yeah, we'll give it a quick run like that and then we'll give it more power. Check it out guys, we got the headlights on, we got the tail lights on. We really don't want to hurt this beautiful body. Here we go. Oh, look at that, nearly. So here we've got the GPS speed meter. Let's shove it on there and see how fast it can go. All right, here we are on location. Let's see how fast it goes. Flat out, what was it? What was it? Oh, 18. It is an old battery, but we're going to make it 4S in a minute. <laughs> It comes with a high speed gearing. If we were to put that on there, it probably would go to 30 mile an hour, but I'm too lazy. I can't be bothered. I just want to put a faster motor in. Here we have a JLB Cheetah. I think these can do about 50, 60 mile an hour. Now uh, this one has a powerful motor in it. So I want to see if we can fit that into there. Oh, we have a problem. The shaft on the new motor is bigger, so we can't fit this pinion. And the pinion that come off of this motor has got bigger teeth, so it doesn't fit the car. Oh, wow. Well. no problem, we have drill bits. Oh no, the hole's not in the middle. Oh well, we'll try it anyway. Oh no, it's wonky. <laughs> Ah, oh, that'll be all right. I'm not in it, am I? Oh, doesn't fit. We have nobbles in the way. There we go, nobbles gone. Yes. Also, the servo is a little bit on the slow side, so we're going to fit a JX EcoBoost. Now, these are dirt cheap, metal geared, metal cased, loads of torque, loads of speed. I actually put them into most of my RC cars. And if you want to know where we can get them from, link down below. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh, check out that steering now. Yeah, still a bit slow. Let's try 4S LiPo. Perfect. 
Ah, not perfect. Here we go, four rest, baby. That's better. Oh, look at that. That's better. Poor Carpy. So a bit later, we're going to take it out and see how fast it goes. If it doesn't go fast enough, we can still put on a bigger pinion. Bigger pinion gears mean the wheels turn faster. Which means more top speed. But for now, let's put on these sparking drift tyres. Oh, look at that. We've got some brake discs in there. They're not real, but they look a little bit real. that we tried sparking drift tyres, it was on this car here. And in here, the floor is quite smooth and it didn't really spark that much. But this has a lot more power, so maybe it will. No, no sparkage. Let's try it outside. Look at that. Dark out here now. Hopefully this surface here is going to give us some sparkage. <laughs> so that did work a little bit. But I think we can do better. So in the tyre here, look, we can see the flints. The trouble is, there's not really that many of them. There's literally just three per tyre. But I know titanium sparks, and we've got titanium screws. So you put in two per tyre. Let's see how that goes. All right, here we go. Let's hope for the best. So next, we're going to get the speed tyres back on and then we're going to see how fast it goes. So there we go, all GPS'd up. How fast do you reckon it's going to go? 43. Oh, I'm going to go with 40, but we want to hit 60, so we're probably going to have to gear it up. All right, let's do it. Flat out. Flat out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we don't want to hurt that beautiful body. What do we get? <laughs> 28. 28? It's not supposed to be 30. So we need to double the teeth on the pinion. So we're quite a long way off of our 60 mile an hour goal. So we've got to do a little bit of math. So we've got 28 mile an hour, that was on an 18 tooth pinion. So that's 1.55 mile an hour per tooth. So a 38 tooth pinion would be required for 60 mile an hour. But the biggest pinion that we can fit on this car is a 27. Here we've got the gearing chart for the car, 27 tooth pinion, the biggest. So the fastest that we can go with this motor is 42 mile an hour. So we have to fit a higher KV motor. KV means RPM per volt. So the more KVs you got, the more RPMs you got, the faster the car should go. So the motor that is in there now is a 2500 KV. And that should, on paper, make the car go 42 mile an hour, which is still way too slow. So to go 60 mile an hour, we need 3,571 kV. That's on paper, and that's even if I worked it out right. But don't forget, in the real world, we've got wind resistance, tyre resistance, blah, 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 idiot driving it. But here we have a Banggood special motor. And this one here is 3,650 kV. So that should make it go over 60 mile an hour. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know, that's enough waffle. Let's get it fitted. And then we take it out for a rip and see if it can do 60 mile an hour. Oh, postman. Oh, it's Christmas every day. Yeah, Akadaka batteries. Motor time. So this motor is a little bit smaller, but it's more suited to the size of this car. This one here is for a much bigger car, so this should be fine. Hopefully. If not, it's probably going to catch fire. We're just going to overheat. So the gearing chart says hole number K. Letter K, whatever. Moment of truth, let's see if it works. That's working it out. Oh, all right, see how fast it can go. Oh, more post. Oh, it's Christmas every day. A quick look at this, guys, and then we're gonna do the speed run. Oh, 
check this out. The Inferno GT2 Mercedes Benz. And this one's a Nitro one. I'm really getting back into the Nitros again recently. You're probably going to have to get Mick to tune it, though, because I'm not that good at tuning. Oh, look, two speed gearbox. That's going to be in the video soon. All right, let's go, Rip. All right, hopefully we are going to be getting 60 mile an hour. We have an obstruction over there, rudely. Oh, that's lively. Oh, oh no! Oh. Have you got any damage? Oh no, look. We've done 50 though, 49. I don't want to play. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you got 51? 51. I think we'll leave it at that, I think. Probably can do more. We can just get some better tyres. The only day we've had in probably three weeks where the road's been dry. So we're, we're going to give it another one in the summer. Bye.